Hi and welcome back to my channel my precious little babies. So this week we are going to be making tiny little pies for the fall season. I'm sorry I'm really excited. So without further ado let's get right into the video. My parents get these tiny little desserts from this grocery store that we go to and they come in these tiny little I don't know silver things and the desserts obviously look like tiny little pies so I thought it would be like so much fun to make some pies for the fall season because it's fall we're gonna be working with some clay and there's a lot of technical things that I'm not really sure of quite yet just to start things off easy, we are going to be making a blueberry pie first. I don't necessarily like blueberry pies, but it looks delicious. So the first thing that we're gonna do is make the pie crust. This is our little pie so far and I have these beads that I think are like the most perfect blueberry color ever. I'm kind of, ugh, I'm always scared. Why am I always scared of everything? I'm just a scared person, but I'm scared like every day. So I guess I'm feeling normal. This is really difficult because I want to make one of those crisscrossy top of the pie crust, you know, like this. But because I want to make this all shiny and cute and stuff, I think, I, like, I have to put these in first. I can't put the pie crust, crust? I can't put the pie top on until this is in there, right? I don't know. Because otherwise, like, it's going to be way too fragile for me to, like, work with after. And if I do, this, none of this is making sense. Basically. I have to put this in, but I want to make a shiny little top coat to go over this so it looks like, you know, like ooey gooey filling, but I'll have to put the pie crust on so I can't put the top coat on this until I have the pie crust because we can't put that in the oven because this is oven baked clay. I hope that all makes sense. So basically, I'm just a little frightened because I want this all to work well. And I think we can put the beads in, right? Yeah, the glass beads. So I feel like you can put glass in the oven and it's going to be fine. Hopefully. 
Is it gonna be fine? I don't know. Who cares? getting ready to bake our pies and it they literally look like real pies like they actually look like blueberries in there <laughs> it takes everything within me not to just i won't but like it looks like pastry and worst off it looks like cooked pastry for the empty pie for this pie I'm thinking of putting a, a layer of tin foil in there at the bottom and then putting some tiny beads in there and making it like red or something because I feel like that will look, I don't know, like strawberries or raspberries or something. Because when I look at pies, I mean, by the time that you put the filling in there, it just kind of looks chunky. <laughs> I don't like that word, chunky. Gross. Ugh. Bye swear to god if you break if you do anything that i don't want you to do i will be so freaking mad sleep well
so we're basically doing this so that we can seal in all the beads in here so that when we paint on top of it none of the beads are flying around and therefore we're gonna have like a pretty even surface to paint on it kind of looks like cereal I'm just gonna let that dry now oh my god now it looks even more like cereal like it's milk oh my god Welcome to the end of the video. It's been a journey. These are our pies. They're pretty cute. They're pretty adorable. You know what's not cute and adorable? Me. As you've noticed, I did not- well, maybe you haven't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sorry for being like this, but it's been a really rough few like a week, weeks, whatever, however long it's been. Um, last week I wasn't here because I was deathly ill and so I went to the hospital, I got some antibiotics and I got better but then the antibiotics made me feel like death and then I couldn't get out of bed because the antibiotics hurt me and then today I woke up and realized that whatever I had is coming back and that the antibiotics aren't working and I've never had this happen in my entire life and so therefore I am losing my freaking mind <sighs> and as you can tell like I don't look good I tried my best to do my makeup but I just like like you can tell it's taken a toll on me to be sick for this long and I think I'm gonna have to go back to the hospital soon if I notice that like whatever I had is coming back because well I'm not gonna deal with it like I can't just let my body fight it naturally because it won't it's just gonna give me a fever is not it weird how like your body is like oh my god you got something that is not meant to be in your body let's just turn up the degrees like two or three I'm like, I don't think the freaking bacteria or virus really cares that it's two degrees warmer in there. I think it's just like, whoa, did we get into a hot tub? It's just a hot tub for it. <laughs> Our bodies are so dumb. Ugh, I'm just mad. I'm so mad because, like, I think I... I don't know if I'm going to be able to film anything this week because I still feel like crap. And it's taken me like four days to edit this video, which typically takes me like two days, but because I keep having to stop and then rest. <sighs> um, so bear with me. If I, you don't see me again next week, like please don't leave my channel. It's just I'm going through something really rough right now. And I think I'm going to have to go back to the hospital for it. But I hope you enjoyed the pies. Yeah, they are really cute. If anything in this world makes me feel better, it's the stupid frickin' pies. I'm just so mad. I'm so mad. I just- all I want to do is work. All I want to do is make videos. All I want to do is make cute things. 
and the only thing I can do is just like barely get up in the morning <sighs> anyways how have you been <laughs> I hope you've been doing great sorry for all the negativity I think it's my only way to cope is just to like be mad at everything while I smile through it well look at these pies they're so cute I hope you guys like them and they're kind of like heavy they could technically be paperweights if I really wanted them to be. These pies are cute. They're they're not making me feel better because only antibiotics can do that, but they're making me feel happy while I'm dying. If I die, I'm gonna be so mad. Like I'm not ready to die yet. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm just so sad. Anyways. It is time for that time to say goodbye to my precious little babies. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're not dying. And if I do die, I'm so sorry. But if I don't die, like, I'll be back to my normal self, which will be great. I've been trying so hard to make myself laugh. I've been trying so hard to, like, feel better. But no matter what I do, it just doesn't seem to work. It's like the first time in my life where I'm not like a normal medical person. Like every time I go to the doctors, they're like, this is what's wrong with you. This is how you fix it. And then I do that thing and then I feel better. This is the first time where I've like taken antibiotics and I feel worse. Well, not necessarily worse because like I, I felt way worse before the antibiotics. I guess it's like pick the lesser of the battles or whatever the saying is. Like, I'd rather be feeling not that great on antibiotics than feeling crap without antibiotics, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go to the store soon and get some juice. And hopefully that will, like... At least I'm smiling. That's how I know I'm not, like, feeling the worst. I am gonna say goodbye for this week. I'm sorry if you don't see anything for, like, next week or if I don't post any shorts or anything. I'm just, like... I'm gonna try really hard to, obviously, but if you don't, just know that it's probably because things got worse. I don't want things to get worse. Oh my god, there's so many thoughts in my brain. Like, what if I am dying? Am I feeling warm? I'm feeling warm. I feel warm. But that's okay, like, the, I'm warm-blooded. Is this a fever or am I just warm? What is happening? I'm terrified. I'm so terrified. All right, well, I'll see you when I see you. Bye.